Hello everybody and welcome, bienvenido a todo. Uh, as you can see we're in Chain Simon 2 as always and we are in Northern Transfer 9. We're beginning to go ahead of field because we've got a special run today. We are taking out a brand new British Rail prototype. Um, this is a diesel multiple unit which has risen from the ashes of the APT project. Um, so British Rail are still desperate to try and salvage something of tilting technology to bring to Britain's railways. And so here we sit in the late 80s as they have one last desperate push to try and do it. Uh, so as you can see here we have the British Rail Class 215, uh, also known as the Advanced Passenger Diesel Tilt, uh, the APDT. And um, we are driving it today to Leeds. Uh, we will have a intermediate stop at uh, Dewsbury, um, but this will be a test run. Um, we should have a few passengers, uh, but it hasn't been advertised very very well to so avoid any press scrutiny. Um, as such, uh, right. Oh. Oh, I need to put on the wipers. Uh, put them on slow. And I think with that we should be able to get going. Um, oh, listen to that. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. So it's a rainy day as ever in the, um, in Huddersfield. Um, and a train is formed of two cars. It's a um, diesel electric multiple unit, hence it's 215 two, designation. And it has um, a first class um, and a standard class accommodation. And the British Rail are hoping that this will um, replace aging multiple units and local hauled services um, across the network. So it's been trialled here because it would be make a very very good replacement for any of the local hauled services between Manchester and Leeds um, to be replaced with a nice multiple unit. Uh, and as it's a tilting train, it is permitted to go above the uh, normal speed limit on the line. So, in certain places we are allowed to exceed uh, uh, 10 miles an hour, oh no, 15 miles an hour more than the speed limit. Uh, so, we should be able to get some nice tilting. And off we go, on our journey up to 70 miles an hour. Or no, actually, it'll be 85. Oh, and here comes the Sprinter, which is the basis of our rival. So this is not the only uh, medium long distance um, multiple diesel multiple unit the British Rail are working on. This prototype is in competition with the Sprinter Express, otherwise known as the Class 158, um, to become uh, the um, future of British Rail. Um, long, medium, long distance diesel multiple unit fleet, um, and the uh, Express Sprinter is much, much more conventional, um, but also much cheaper to develop. Um, but British Rail are hoping that the Class Two One Five, the APDT, will be able to win out because it, 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 it can go faster. It has good acceleration as a multiple unit it, um, and mixed with the uh, tilting means it can go fast. As you can see we are above the speed limit now because we are permitted in this section to go up to 15 miles an hour faster. Um, we will have to obey that 50 limit uh, because we have to switch tracks. Um, so start putting the brakes on.
So now we switch off this line and on to the line to Manchester. There we go. Look at us. So we're wearing the uh, Advanced Passenger Train uh, Corporate Livery, which is um, incorporates the yellow front end. See the double arrows there as well. Um, and we are permitted to go a little bit faster here. Uh, we can go 10 miles an hour faster here. We get a 60. Then we'll be able to go to 80 on the main line. A short run of 80 and we have to drop to 45 which we will have to because we're again we're pulling off this line uh, so we're crossing switches which means we cannot go too fast even being a tilting train now look at us aren't we gorgeous Now this train departs from British Rail's normal approach to um, multiple units in that it has uh, no gangway door. It's a large windscreen. Oh, we'll have to start braking now. So we've got to get down to 45 in a mile. But we can appreciate some external views while we while we slow down. Of oh, that lovely 215. Uh, this is a train that like very rarely train spotters get to see because British Rail really hide the publicity for it. Um, they don't announce when it will be it will be in a in service. Oh look, and we got another sprinter coming. Oof! There we go. There we go. That's that's the image. Oof. Oh dear! I slowed down too much. That's a shame. This train is good uh, at reducing the time on this line because it can sail through the corners much faster. Um, it's managed to cut the journey time between uh, Huddersfield and Leeds by over five minutes, nearly ten minutes, um, for services, um, express services between, or no, intercity services between um, Manchester and Leeds. Go. We can start accelerating now. One. Ooh, how dreary and grey is it? I love it. Ooh, how, how lovely the two one five looks. The future British Rail. This will be a go anywhere train. There will be no line in, in the UK that is safe on this train if it gets its final approval. But that all rests on the Department for Transport. Oh, oh, we've got a, a a one of our passenger one of our um, sibling units. As you can see, there are. Four in circulation. This is the final one. Oh, we need to stop at Dewsbury.
that was quick, wasn't it? Much quicker than in a plus 40. 47. So I think we'd have got more than 40 miles an hour by, by, by between um, here and there, between Huddersfield and here. Just one of the many advantages being a diesel multiple unit and a uh, tilting train has. Look at that. Look at that. Hidden away. You have to be a very lucky train spot to catch a glimpse of this. That's why there's so few photos online of the real thing. So I need to start preparing. I might bought my brick. I start closing the door soon. Mm, beautiful train. I mean, as you can see, not many passengers, all in standard class. Nobody has ventured into first. But that's okay, we can. We can go on our way to Leeds now, so uh, nothing holding us back. Right now, oh, what a lovely ride to pass along. Oh, it's gorgeous. Gorgeous. Now, now when this train, when this project was finally canned, because the um, British government were not going to pay uh, any more money into this project, they were done with funding tilting trains. Uh, they thought the technology had made British Rail a laughing stock, and they were not prepared to make a long-term investment of this scale. Uh, the technology was bound up rapidly packed up and sold to Germany's Deutsche Bank um, to invest in their own research. Oh, look, here's one of those um, old, old trains now that look like a Class 37 in Regional Railways livery. So, see them at 60, but we're allowed to push it and go to 75. It's not the curviest of route of um, sections at the moment, but I'm gonna have to crawl into Leeds, I think. Oh, right. Oh, that should be just about enough to keep us there. Right, tilting. Lovely. Ooh, yeah. A proper tilt, that is. Uh, right, so. We've got 5 miles, 5.8 miles, yeah, but it's quite curvy, so. Mm -hmm. Oof, so now we can sit back and relax as we go through the tunnel. Uh, gonna put on a little bit of power. To sustain us up this incline. Um, yeah, so uh, passenger feedback on this loco so far is mixed. Um, 
many are m much much happier with uh, the quality of this train over the previous uh, train its reliability and its speed but they all say it's much louder in the passenger cabin um, as a result of them being a multiple unit with very loud diesel engines um, and so the, there isn't an overwhelmingly positive um, experience because passengers feel it feels a bit more feels a bit more intrusive to the noise does um, than on the any any older rolling stock days hauled by a by a train because you don't they you don't hear the engine noise when you're in a local hold. Um, Whereas here, you can hear the engine noises constantly, especially when it accelerates. Right, you then. Let's go through the corner and... Gorgeous! Look at that APT livery! APDT livery. <laughs> and here we are, where are we now? Three miles away. Oh, we're still right, right in the countryside. Oh, it's gorgeous, lovely, beautiful. Gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. Yeah, that's the image, I think. Oh, and then two of the other two of our of the four uh, prototypes built. Right. So we're at 65 miles an hour, we got 60 reduction, so we're doing fine. Um, what have we got to do? Oh, we've just got to curve into leads and then we'll have a speed reduction. So that should be fine. Two miles until the speed reduction. Oh, so we'll keep up the air throttle. Put the pressure on. I mean, we want to get there soonish, don't we? This train needs to prove things. It's moving it fast, reliable. Good value for money to the taxpayer. Unfortunately. It won't be viewed that way. Not only because it's associated with the APT project, which is seen as a, a very big waste of money, uh, it, it is um, the per unit cost of this technology at this time makes it nearly, uh, nearly, nearly, but not quite, twice as expensive as an express printer. Uh, so yeah, fresh rail, no. No, British Rail would like it, but the government, Department of Transport, well, back in the 80s would have been the Department of Transport, uh, it's a no. No, no, no. In fact, uh, at exactly the same time that British Rail are asking for money to keep developing this project, uh, the government is slowly writing up plans to privatise British Rail. Fancy that. Oh, look, another one by though. Oh, I'm going way, 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 way over. <gasps> oh, ooh, I thought, why? I'm not sure. I don't think. Wow, well, just goes to show how good this train is. 
you can you can speed through a junction designed for twenty at eighty, and hmm, the train stays on the tracks. Whee. Leeds is in sight. There we are. Leeds. Bit grey, but uh, you know, biggest can't be useless. Oi, oi, oi. Oi, 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 oi. Oof. Okay. Bring down the speed. Oh, look at it. Gorgeous. Just one more prototype thrown out on the scrap heap. Although many British engineers do suspect that the technology did get put to good use in Germany and resurfaced years later as the 612. <laughs> There we go, let's open it. Oh, is anyone getting off? Nah. No. Fine. This is um, the last time this train will run in service it uh, the funding is due to be pulled very very soon um and only the other three will continue on um briefly running full services from leeds to manchester but it still will not convince the government in that it can do it well um what a shame And with that, we shall have to bid, bid leads of you. Thank you, Northern Trans Pemo. Thank you, APDT uh, train. And thank you for watching and indulging my imagination. Uh, so, um, oh, 25 minutes, not bad. Um, this was obviously all fictional. Uh, this train doesn't exist. The, the number doesn't exist. The, nothing about it exists. Um, just a 612 in livery uh, so um, but yeah I wanted to add some snaz to this line I still want more freedom for the scenario planner but uh, I can I can live with what I've got but yeah for now but eventually it's going to start getting boring and I'm going to be like what's the point in having a feature if you can't do consist etc uh, so I do hope that comes eventually even if it's like it's not going to be till the next TSW if nudge nudge wink wink the next tsw comes in say two years that's fine if it's five years then mm, that's too much um so yeah but as as ever i highly recommend this train uh and its home route justin chemnitz and this route northern transfer line always one of my faves um it's interesting though um how much is it like if this with this with like a modern multiple unit it's a really easy route to drive like i mean yeah you've got the, the speed changes but far less so than actual dressed in cabinets um 
so yeah it's a difficult one once you put like this train on there it's it's i mean look i was speeding i mean <laughs> you can see from that green line i was not following the speed limit um but still it felt like it was over super quickly um i'm pretty sure that takes 10 minutes more um maybe not that half but the route generally takes around an hour and 10 minutes uh, when you're doing like an express um, from Leeds to Manchester with stops at Dewsbury, Huddersfield, and Leeds, Dewsbury, Huddersfield. Oh, what is the other station? This stops at right, the other end, the Manchester end, Staley Bridge, Staley Bridge, probably. Um, and so, yeah, um, But yeah, I mean, the, in theory, any multiple unit that could run uh, on this line would would will run faster than what's there. Well, any modern multiple unit um, because they are very old locos. I think that's forty forty seven no, no forty five and the thirty seven. They're old. I mean, you do still find them pulling freight in the UK even now, but back then they would have been reached. They would have been at their um the end of their useful lives anyway i'm rambling uh so I, what i will say is um thank you for watching and as ever if you got any more requests if you'd like to say suggest a um a route or a livery just let me know and um do, 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 do. uh hasta luego good have a good period of time <laughs> bye